was very proud of all that it accomplished. I suppose they had a right to be. waiting for something to happen. Like, I don't expect it. Therefore, I think it's going to happen. <laughs> Which sounds backwards. Something there to look at. Oh. From the Apollo 11 mission, the Lunar Module Eagle was the first crewed spacecraft to touch down on Earth's moon. Eagle's counterpart was the Command Module Columbia. That's cool. Oh, hi, little guy. Hi, is this the Mars Rover? It's the Mars Rover. Look for the opportunity. Oh, look for the opportunity Rover on Mars. It gives me the quest because I knew he was up there. So the other, the, the current Rover that's up there, I think is what it is, is, is on Mars. In 2150, scientists first uh, predicated, a uh, pred predicated, predicted the, the, the just, blah, blah, blah. Let's try that again. In 2150, scientists first predicted the destruction of our beloved Earth. Atmospheric phenomena would cause breathable air to sputter outside of Earth's gravity, dooming all life that remained. An estimated 50 years until the end has given NASA and other space agencies around the world the opportunity to migrate humanity uh, away from uh, certain death and into the stars. Thanks in part to the development of the gra grav drive, humanity will live on. Oh, that's your flashlight. I mean, there's all sorts of cool stuff. From 1971 to 1972, the Lunar Rover. Cool. Adapted from a design originally intended for high altitude aircraft. Yep. Uh huh. That's cool. Here's the pod from Project Apollo. Yep. Oh, and it's not bad. Wow. I also wish to be prepared for any situation, but there are practical limits, yes? Listen. I have never been one to shy away from shouldering my share of a heavy load. <laughs> Probably not going to use that. I may pull that out. <clears throat> so let's see. Yeah. Oh, it's actually better for. Her. Um. I mean. Mm, yeah, it has better pr environmental protection, but less attack protection. So never mind. Let's not worry about that. Uh, the Mercury Pack is. Mm, no, I'd rather give her. I think it's more important that she has the attack protection. That does have it, though, so let's equip that. There you go.
Oh no, what is this? NASA partnered with Nova Galactic, the creators of the Voltaire supercomputer, and an ambitious aerospace project to pull gravity itself. The result is the first spacecraft capable, capable of faster than light travel. So this was the first like grav drive ship. NASA partnered with Nova Galactic, the creators of the Voltaire supercomputer, on an ambitious aerospace project to pull gravity itself. That's weird to talk about that with that. While long-term missions in space began in the late 1990s with programs such as the International Space Station, humanity began living on other planets almost 100 years later. Oh, so this is just, this is about outposts. This may actually not even be a real door. Oh, no, it is. That's funny. What does it say? While long-term missions in space began, oh, that's the same one. Oh, that's it. Doesn't actually go in. Okay. I just don't understand where these calculations came from. There's something wrong with the math? I think it's quite straightforward. That's not what I'm asking. We've had no success extracting even a sample of material from the object. No explanation for the gravitational effects. No motion graph to explain its harmonic frequencies. I can't even establish a melting point. Judith. But you've had me building these prototype colliders for months. And now you want me to bump helium-3 into it based on this equation you've written on a goddamn napkin? I just need you to trust me. I have been trusting you. We keep slamming our heads against a brick wall, getting nothing. And you keep coming up with something new to try. Like, you know what's going to happen. Where are you getting your information, Victor? I'm sorry, Judith. I... Look, not here, okay? Somewhere off base. I'll tell you everything. But I'm not lying, okay? We're going to discover something important here. I promise. Is it a NASA pin? I'll take a Looks NASA like pin. early testing for planetary habitats. <laughs> oh. The looks on their faces if we could show them all that we have learned. Oh my goodness. a range of disciplines, but I must not been kind to it. This hallway gave me a lot more than I thought it was going to. Okay, let's do this one, that. That's only going to fit there. Here. 
Nice. Yeah, I didn't go look down there yet, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. Possibly just heat leeches. But that still doesn't fill me with confidence. Oh. What? Oh, I did the wrong set. Does I say that doesn't make any sense? Cool. A very high value pistol. Wow. I forgot you still have your chameleon. I don't have that anymore. those power cells aren't as heavy as they could have made them. broken. I mean, obviously the place is in great disrepair, but we don't often see broken glass. like to find a computer and have them like me. I do have max stealth. I just don't know if maybe I've passed it already. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, that is not great gun for them. Let's try some energy weapons. Oh, jeez. Oh, I needed to reload. This thing just has the smallest clip. Hang in there, Andresia. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, 
Best not to leave anything useful behind. I didn't realize how close that thing was. Target down. Okay, one more, one more turret. Triumphant. Yeah. Sorry, NASA. Kind of broke the last of your working stuff. Okay, that's the only place that'll work. Mmm. Whoa, wait. Nope, go back. That puts me in a position that I can't do. Aha! No, it wasn't the only place it would work. I'm a doofus. I bet there's a computer in here. Yep. They're all down, aren't they? I don't know why I'm doing this. I know they're all down. Oh, there we go. Well, at least I've confirmed these turrets are done for. All right, power switch activated. Okay, gate's been opened. Make sure there's nothing else here. Aww. had a feeling there might be a turret down here. <sighs> Security procedures. Check all badges before allowing access. Yes, even general, even the generals. I don't care how angry they get. Uh, these are direct orders from the secretary. Absolutely no phones or recording devices. All written materials, clipboards, notebooks are to be checked on exit from the labs. Confiscate anything with confidential information on it. Project Log, Dr. Victor Isa. We turned on the prototype today. The gravitational field around it began to fold as we long suspected. Complete reversal of gravitational pull was observed on dozens of loose objects around the lab. I'm setting up a meeting with the directors to propose a larger test. The prototype proves we don't need the original anymore, but further work is going to have to take place in space somewhere with abundant helium-3 and with a civilian partner. Someone with access to large-scale manufacturing resources and computational equipment. Engineering gravitational folds pulling the far side of the solar system closer to us? It's all going to be possible. Project Log, Dr. Judith Petian. I watched the gravjet tests from the moon today. It was the first time we were able to talk to the team at Nova Galactic directly. So many things were under wraps before, but now everyone wants all the publicity they can get. I'm already seeing proposals for manufacturing androids of drives, expeditions to Alpha Centauri and beyond. It's also overwhelming and worrying. It could take years, decades, before we know what all these side effects of operating a grav drive can be, hmm. but no one wants to hear that right now. Like a bunch of pioneers racing towards the edges of the frontier without knowing about the grizzly bears in the mountains. 
<laughs> Where am I going now? Oh, down here. Oh, wait. Oh, is this going to the same place? That's funny. Yep, sure enough. Oh. We must be nearing the artifact if it is here. Oh. We should not give up now. Oh. Oh. That's cool. It's like an anti-grav chamber. Okay, so not a whole lot of work on the outside. It's like the only place that's going to work. Same with that. I'll take it. Let's see what lies behind here. Oh, I bet this was... Well, no, I don't know. Maybe this is a way... Ho! Ho! Oh, I found another way in. Oh, was not expecting that. Oh, jeez. This is some strange, uh, uh, stranger things. I don't like this. I don't like this area. Lots of, lots of picking, lots of picking. Okay, that'll be used at the end. about where we would have been I think yeah we would have come down there don't see anything oh wait yeah I do yeah I do yeah I do hello okay. lots of things to loot but nothing super awesome there was that one pistol Boy, I can't imagine coming here and not having a lot of digipix. Okay, let's think about this one. So let's do that and this. No, this one. Go back out. Go back down. Maintenance key. Digipix. I mean, they have been giving me Digipix, so can't really. Oh, this looks like maybe where I'm supposed to go. So let me go up here. But this may just be an optional way to get there as well. Oh, okay. 
Oh! Oh, okay. Ah, ha, 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 ha. No, 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 this way. Also, this. Oh, hi. <laughs> this place is a maze. Okay, so let's go to down here. Okay, that's back out into the corridor. Okay, another body. Long gone. Got his Canuck bacon. Please be careful whenever running power through the prototype. Secure all loose objects and have researchers empty pockets and remove jewelry, watches, etc. Reminder that the core of the drive contains a specimen that is irreplaceable and all data is under the strictest clearance. Exercise all caution with all research materials and ensure information does not leave this lab. I never actually got to visit your labs back when we were working on the Grav Drive projects. Seems like ancient history now. Only thing we're doing these days is launching weather satellites. Guess this is as good a retirement as any. Now, Project Demeter, you want our help manufacturing scanners to better track these new meteorological patterns we've seen. Our guess is that the poles might be naturally shifting, causing some gravitational fluctuations that are throwing off our old models. Why do you need the scanning tolerances to be so small? What are you trying to find? I just want to be sure. It's, it's not like we're doing much these days anyway. The glory days are over. Why not give ourselves a challenge before they write us off in the history books? Uh, as requested, oh, to Judith uh, and Victor and Lon uh, from Dr. Luke Andrews. As requested, the, astrophysic uh, the astrophysics research team has done a full analysis of of the data you provided us, the measurements of the Earth's magnetosphere show clear signs of fluctuation, often in correlation to the periods of frequent and large gravity wave spikes emanating from the moon. These gravity waves seem to be affecting the magnetic shield provided by the Earth's inner core and may be affecting the core itself, giving the proximity to this, given the pro give core itself, give the proximity to the source. The data indicates that cha uh, change rate is increasing exponentially. As our magnetosphere falters, its ability to protect us from the sun's solar and uh, wind falters. Beyond the devastating effects of solar radiation, this will lead to something more dire than sputtering or stripping away of our atmosphere. This has happened before to Mars, a planet studied since the earliest days of space to see into Earth's possible future. We are afraid this future may be closer than we ever thought imaginable. Some may view this data as normal. There have been historical fluctuations and polarity changes of Earth's core, but this, uh, but this is orders of magnitude greater. We see echoes of previous generations' debates over global warming, and we want the scientists here to be clear. Like waves in, this, in the ocean, these gravity waves rise and eventually crash into shore. The Earth with devastating uh, consequences. <laughs> 